this is Emily. Welcome to my channel. Treating your guests with a cup of good tea has been a tradition existing for thousands of years. And I believe you tried all kinds of teas, but to serve and to drink tea properly, you may need to learn some basic tea etiquettes. So in this video, we're gonna talk about very basic and important tea drinking etiquettes. So number one, do not serve your guests with the first step. You know, for the first step, some of the teas may contain the chemicals or pesticides. So always rinse your teas, except for some very high quality organic teas. So for the first step, I will just uh, pour the tea liquor out. And just uh, get it away. And uh, number two, do not fill your teacups very much because we all know that tea liquor is quite hot except some iced tea. So always remember to leave some li little gaps here uh, so that your guests' hands or fingers will, will not get burned. So this is our second step. Number three, seniors come first. So in Chinese culture, we respect the seniors very much. So um, for the second step that is ready to serve the uh, guests, we usually serve the seniors first and then the relatively younger and then finally the youngest. Uh, for the second step, we may just <laughs> we may serve the tea guests either from the left to right or the from right to the left. And number four, always serve the guests first and then finally the host or hostess. That's a way to show the guest to show the host or hostess hospitality to the tea guests. Number five, use your gestures to say thank you to the tea host or tea hostess. This originated from a very interesting story back in Qing Dynasty. It's said that Emperor Qianlong likes to disguise himself as a commoner and travel around the country, especially in Zhejiang and Jiangsu province. One day, he when he was traveling in Zhejiang or Jiangsu province, he was drinking tea with his ministers. And he just uh, took the teapot and served the ministers with the tea. Usually for such a great honor, the ministers usually need to kneel down to get, the, to get their knees down and kowtow for this great honor and express their gratitude to the emperor. But for such situation, in order to protect the emperor's disguise, kowtow obviously doesn't work. So the, one of the ministers came out an idea and just uh, bent his four fingers and made a knuckle and uh, knocked the table, meaning that uh, kowtow or saying thank you to the emperor. So since after that time, people in China started to use the fingers to say thank you to the tea host. And uh, there are three ways to say thank you. If the tea host or hostess has the similar age with you, you just uh, use the fingertip of the middle finger and uh, the index finger, just like this, meaning thank you. And if the tea host or hostess is much younger than you, you just use one finger, this index finger's tip to say thank you. And if the tea host or tea hostess is much senior than you, you need to bend your fingers and make a knuckle and uh, knock like this to say thank you. Number six, if you are drinking tea, you'd better like uh, put drink and uh, put down the teacups gently so that you don't make any noise because 
making noise like this uh, is a symbol of unfriendliness to the tea guests or the tea host or hostess. Number seven, if you have new guests to come and join your tea table, make sure you replace the old tea with the new tea leaves to show your hospitality or respect to the new tea guests. Number eight, if the flavor of the tea liquor is fading away and the tea host or hostess is not adding more new tea leaves into the teapot, that is a sign for the guests to leave. So just now I've mentioned eight tea etiquettes, but the most common or the co most commonly used tea etiquettes are the one, uh, always remember to serve the tea guests first and finally the tea hostess or host. And uh, number two, use your fingers to say thank you. This is the most commonly used. Tea drinking is a very elegant and sophisticated art. It's not only about tea leaves or tea liquor tasting. There's also a huge tea culture behind it. So if you enjoy this video and want to learn more about tea culture, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe our channel. And if you have any particular topics or interests you want to know, please feel free to comment below and let me know that uh, definitely we will have more videos coming about this tea culture. Thank you for watching. See you next time.